Hi, my name is Richard Dewing. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cybex. Really excited to share with you how we help tech businesses, managed services partners, systems integrators save up to 50% of their uh, end user support costs and how we help to differentiate and uh, make them more profitable. So you'll know that uh, tech businesses are under constant threat. Uh, we're constantly asked to reduce costs. We're under constant uh, pressure to, to increase service delivery, to make sure that we offer differentiated services. Uh, customers expect more. We're supposed to come up with new and more every day. And if we don't use automation to achieve this, then, uh, then we die. So we're in this unique new world where um, people are working remotely, they're working from home, coffee shops, and we have to support these users it's an expensive exercise, it's a time-consuming exercise, and customers demand that we're able to do this at scale. And so the distributed workforce, uh, specifically in terms of, of the data risk that it poses, both how do we manage it, how do we protect it, how do we secure it, um, the ability to scalably support those users, the ability to make sure that we can recover data if there's a ransomware event or something goes wrong. And then very importantly, as we distributing devices or we're doing hardware refresh of new devices, the cost and time that goes with that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we do that, but we achieve significant savings um, and can really help differentiate your business significantly, especially in the, in the end user support and migration areas. And then very importantly, um, compliance has become a very important element as well. So how do we make sure, and our customers expect this from us, how do we make sure that we're compliant and that we're keeping them compliant to data protection regulations? So Cybex is a cloud platform that allows you to manage all your data, all your users centrally, one location or from one location at least, um, all managed in the cloud and addresses every element of data as it relates to end users. So we're talking about data protection, data security, data management, data refresh, data migration. I'm going to show you how we do that in a second. We've achieved this very successfully for many, many businesses over many years that we've been in business. And, and it's a creates a unique opportunity specifically not as a as a security tool but actually as an operational tool that you can use together with your RMM tools together with your other end user support tools together with SCCM or any combination of those but to take care of the data bit and it presents you with a very unique opportunity to differentiate your offering customers care about their data first hardware we can get Anyway, you can go down to the shop and, and buy a new laptop or a new PC. The thing you can't go and buy is your data. So how do we manage that at scale? And, and if you can do that effectively, as we'll, I'll show you how we achieve that, and we can help you reduce the costs of your operations. We can help increase your service delivery. We can help enhance your customer experience significantly. So cutting the customer service experience down from hours in a hardware refresh event, for example, to minutes with zero impact the user doesn't have to be without their device and all of this leads to to one thing and that's increased profitability for you a decreased cost from a customer side so you've got a happier customer and you're making more money so let me tell you a little bit about how we do that and then i'm going to ask you at the end of this presentation a go down we've got a, a return on investment calculator click on that you fill in a couple of details and you can see exactly how much money we can help you save and how much money we can help you make um, and the, you'll get a good sense of the experience your customers are going to have. And then book a demo with us, uh, get one of our accounts team on the line so that they can talk you through and, and show you the product in, in real life. So before we get to that, let me just touch on, on a couple of the key elements uh, so that you understand what Cybex is about. So Cybex is partnered with Microsoft and, and is offered on Microsoft Azure. Uh, and our cloud endpoint cloud management platform sits in Azure and means you can manage whether it's remote users, head office, branch offices, uh, you can manage all your data from a central location and all your data can be securely protected in the Microsoft Azure cloud. So we have discovery of an inventory of devices. So the product starts out once we've created your, your instance in, in our cloud platform. It goes out, it scans your environment, identifies all your devices, hardware, software, and the data. It'll tell us exactly how much data you have in the cloud, how much you have on your device, where you're storing your data, how much of it you have. And, and once you understand what you have, we can then start by we can then start protecting it. So you define a policy that says, I want to protect the following types of documents, I want to protect the following types of data, wherever it is, we'll go and find that data to protect it. That is then automatically backed up every day. Uh, it is extremely light on the endpoint device. We have built our own deduplication, source-based deduplication engine, which we're very proud and very excited about. And that source-based deduplication means that 
every bit of data in your entire environment will only ever be sent up once, not just stored once, but sent up once. So if you've got a logo across every one of your users that your company logo must appear millions of times in letterheads and, and emails and will only ever, once identified the first time, will only ever send that up once, store it once. So it's extremely lightweight on bandwidth, it's extremely lightweight on storage. So automated backup every single day and it runs continuously throughout the day with version control so we can archive and roll back to previous versions if anything goes wrong. We've got data loss prevention which means we can protect data against the wrong person accessing the data. So we've got encryption of the data on your device, the ability to remotely wipe data, the ability, and that's on a forensic level. So as you refresh devices, you can say the old devices, clean them out, and on a forensic level, we clean out those devices. We then have, um, we have the ability to remotely uh, block access to data, give access to data. So if you've got an employee that's leaving the organization, you want to block them from accessing data, you hit a button and it automatically access, blocks it. And then geolocation so that we can see where the devices are. Then we have migration. So migration is something that has a very real impact. And, and this is such a, such a crazy opportunity uh, because migration has been archaic in the way that it has been done uh, to, to date. And, it's, and, and we stumbled across this, or we've experienced this so many times uh, dealing with customers all around the world, that in a migration scenario, you're literally taking an old device, copying everything over to the new device, setting everything up, and four, five, six hours, eight hours later, the user hasn't had their device for a day or two, the, the, the um, technician's been involved and had access to that data. So with our migration capability, we're able to automatically, in the background, while the user is working, we're not doing a restore. I know a lot of tr products talk about the ability to restore data and call that migration. That's not migration. What we're talking about is while the user is working, IT can set up the, the new device, literally go into our cloud platform and say migrate from the old machine to the new machine while the user is working all the settings all the email signatures all the data personal and company data everything migrated in the background and when it's done you provide the machine to the new to the user you update and it'll just sync the settings from from the last migration or from when the migration was done to now and the user's up and running zero impact to the user migration in minutes i'm going to talk you through a case study now that'll show you we've had incredible results as a managed services provider as a systems integrator this is game changing your customer experience in a support scenario in a migration scenario just even in general customer support the ability to have all the data at hand and be able to in these support and recovery scenarios or migration scenarios hit a button and you're up and running and you can do it remotely it saves huge costs and then obviously compliance, I spoke about that earlier, but compliance is, is really key to, in today's time. So we have this really cool, and I'm going to show you on the next screen here, this really cool view of how to determine how protected you are. So there is no way currently for a company to know how protected, I don't know, 5%, 10%, 90% protected, because policies are usually make sure you save your data in the following location, or, you know, let's, I, I think IT's got encryption enabled. So, we've come up with something called the protection rating. And the protection rating, which you'll see on the screen over here, tells me that for this customer, I've got a customer with two and a half thousand devices, and the policy has run and is active on all the devices. So, I'm 100% protected. So, if my policy has run and this is configurable, at least once in the last X period, three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for example, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, then I can see I'm, the users are protected. I've got a single protection rating. So again, as a systems integrator or a managed services provider, you'll have this view for all your customers. You can manage it remotely and you can actually give them a data protection and data management SLA number. So I want to take you through this case study that we recently ran for a, with a customer of ours called Soho Sun. They have around 700 devices that they migrate yearly. And, uh, and it was taking them somewhere between four and five hours per device to, to run, run the migrations. And so that's time that the user's without their device and that IT's busy doing the migration. And these guys know what they're doing, um, but that's just the way that's just the way it's always been done. And, and as I'm sure you're aware, um, this, it's done like this everywhere. So what we did is we went in and looked at how much time were users down during migrations. And it averaged out at around five hours. So we said, okay, at an average cost, and this is not Soho Sun's numbers, we just 
as an example to that end, if it, we were saying at an average cost of $50 per hour for a, for a technician, what is that cost? So with Cybex we went in and the user downtime, as you can see a user A, we were about 45 minutes, but the user C, that was just around 20 minutes. So actual user downtime was extremely quick. And if you relate to what that cost was, if these resources are, as we said, $50 an hour and you know, some are more and some are less, those are really significant savings per device that we're achieving. That's on the user side. When we look at the IT's cost, IT was also spending between four and five hours on a device. And here, this included, so if you look at these stats here, this includes setting up the new device, configuring whatever needs to be configured, because with our profile migration, all your network settings, all your email signatures, all of that's automatically set up. So we cut the cost down to next to nothing, and you're saving around $200 per device. Now, if you, again, go to the to the ROI calculator at the bottom uh, of the page that we're on. Have a look there, put in your details, and you'll see when we annualize this, when we, and then break it down to a monthly saving, because you're replacing these devices every two to three years, um, the impact on a monthly basis on your service fees, Cybex and the automation of everything I've spoken about is self-funded. We'll pay for the product through the savings that we achieve operationally, and then you get the automated backup and recovery, the data security, the data loss prevention, the geolocation, the compliance reporting, all of that stuff becomes free. It becomes value adds that you get because you're funding it through an operational impact. Your service becomes better, you become more differentiated. So that's the opportunity here is use the product to automate your, your processes, your support migration specifically, um, and then that covers the licensing. It's a monthly fee that we charge, um, but the key here is that we are then using tech not just to sell a product that's not the idea the idea is use tech to automate your processes so that you become more differentiated in your offering it allows you to improve your service delivery to your customer and at the same time you've reduced costs and you make more money so that's kind of the holy grail so how do we do this well as i said go down have a look at at the return on investment calculator um, schedule a demo with us. Let's show you the product in real life and let's talk about how it would apply to your environment specifically. Um, then once we understand your environment, we, we can run a proof of concept. We can start loading up some of your customers, test them in a real life environment so that you can experience those savings. And then it's uh, then it's training, getting your team skilled up. We've got a team of technical, uh, a technical team ready to assist you. So um, Book a call with us, hit the button, have a look at the return on investment model below. Uh, we've got the white paper available and we look forward to hearing from you.